Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming at you another video. All right, so as I told you guys in the previous video, I've been trying to brainstorm where James Harden should likely potentially go to make the most sense. And I told you guys that I felt Orlando was the best spot in my mind, but we went through the trade tracker yesterday and didn't come up with anything that I really, really liked in regards to trading for James Harden to match salaries. I, well, I went back and did the homework right now and came up with something here. So this is just a follow up to that same video. Essentially, the way the salary would work for the Orlando Magic to try to get James Harden is they could add a good six players, four of which, three of which are expiring. Um, and this is what we got here. Gary Harris at $13 million expiring. That's one of the worst contracts in the world, by the way. Jalen Suggs at 7.2 mil on two-year deal. Uh, and they just picked up their option on him, so I'm not really sure exactly how that pans out now. I think that may have been before the option, but I'm not sure they might have updated that. I don't know. Uh, but that's what it was up to this point. Uh, Cole Anthony, 5.5 mil expiring. So of course, they're going to want to resign him wherever he lands. Tumo Kiki, 5.2 mil expiring. Um, Goga Batazde, 2 million expiring. And Caleb Houston, 2 million, three years, which I think is a pretty good deal. Caleb Houston, he's a pretty solid role player. Two million, two million dollars for the next three years is pretty solid for what you expect him to give you. <laughs> That's what can get you James Harden. Now, I think the Orlando Magic would likely have to throw in a pick or something to make that make sense, especially if they're going to be taking back Gary Harris, arbitrage of garbage contract right there. But all in all, I would be willing to do this if I'm the Orlando Magic to get back James Harden. Because honestly, a bunch of this, a lot of this stuff here is just stuff you either would like to get rid of or Jalen sucks. That's basically what it comes down to. You know, when Gary Harris. You don't need Chomo Kiki. You're not using him. Goga Bataze is a nice shot blocker, but he's a role player. You can get rid of him. Caleb Houston's solid, but you're bringing back James Harden. The, the meat and potatoes of this is Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, and likely whatever pick equities in there. Maybe you throw in some seconds if you don't want to throw in the per first pick. I don't know. But the point is the Orlando Magic should be able to bring this package to either the Philadelphia 76ers or a third team, try to take some of the stuff that the Sixers don't want, and maybe they can make that make sense in that way. It should get... James Harden to Orlando, and that's ultimately what it's about. Oh, and I forgot to mention Markel Fultz is in, uh, stays with the Orlando Magic. I'm not sending him to Philadelphia. I'm not, I would not send him back there. Um, and I forgot to mention him in the previous video. He's a very important piece. Uh, don't necessarily love him coming off the bench for James Harden necessarily, but he would probably start over Anthony Black in this situation since Anthony Black is the youngster. Uh, but either way, they're, they're, Anthony Black can play a bunch of positions, so... If for some reason somebody subs out, you can put Anthony at the two. Somebody subs out, you can put Anthony at the three. Somebody subs out, you can put Anthony at the four. That's how big and defensive he is. So I'm not worried about him getting his minutes as a rookie. He can play all the positions there they are. Uh, so that's kind of how I'm looking at that. I'm keeping Markel Fultz if I'm the Orlando Magic. I had forgotten about him, but now that I remember he's there, he ain't going in this deal. He ain't. The hell no, as a matter of fact. So I'm bringing him... James Harden, two Markel Fultz, Paolo Benchero, Franz Wagner, um, Wendell Carter, and Anthony Black. And that's going to be my six-man rotation that I, I, I really, really like there. Um, and, and, and I would be very happy with that. So that's what I'm telling you guys, man. I just wanted to follow that up by letting people know what I had in mind in regards to making this <clears throat> Orlando Magic James Harden situation come to life. Uh, I think it should happen. I think no, nobody should be against it, especially James Harden, who doesn't have many options left. And, and this would be a good place for him to go to a team, play up his value since he would be the biggest star there, play next to big lineup players who can often help him with the things that he's not going to be able to do playing defense, and ultimately just giving him all the space in the world to do what he does because they're youngsters. They're not going to take nothing from him, but they're good enough to get him where he wants to go in the playoffs. He will play playoff basketball with the Orlando Magic. And they need him to get there, as far as I can tell. So nobody should say no to this. Hopefully everybody involved sees my video. Uh, I, I think it should happen, man. I think James Harden should be traded to the Orlando Magic. And I think he should be traded for this package. Because ultimately, you do not want to move any of those players that I mentioned if you're Orlando. And if you're the Philadelphia 76ers, a lot of these guys that you're bringing in can help booster your overall team with the bench depth that you would otherwise need that isn't really in place. You talk about bringing in Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs. You are boosting your backcourt tremendously. And you got a trio of guys that you can put next to Tyrese Maxey. You know, make your bench so strong. It's not even funny, man. And um, 
The rest of these dudes can go to a third team, maybe wave them. You don't care because they're coming off the books. That's their point. Uh, Goga's coming off the books at two mil, Chuma at five mil. Uh, you know, Cole Anthony, of course, like I said, you resign him. But if not, he's coming off the books at five mil. Uh, Gary Harris comes off the books at 13 mil. Like, that's a lot of good money coming off your books. And you don't want to keep James Harden because he's going to be disruptive or whatever way, what have you. And you don't want to send him to the Clippers because the Clippers honestly don't have a better package than this. So that's really what it comes down to for me, man. That's a no-brainer. I can't think of nowhere else James Harden would be most happy or fit, rather. Uh, Orlando's a nice place to live. Sunshine, beaches, and all types of stuff. He should not be against it. And, um, you know, he'd be playing for a contract. You know, that's really what it comes down to. He would play up his value so he can get that big contract from either Houston or somebody like that because I don't think Orlando's going to want to pay him long term but you don't care about that you just bring him in to try to get this team to the playoffs this year and ultimately cultivate the um, Franz Wagner and Paolo Benchero who your future is going to be and of course Anthony Black giving him a year off uh, to kind of play behind somebody who can ultimately help him in whatever way necessary on the floor so Markel Fultz obviously you want to keep this would give you the money to be able to resign guys as well once all the James Harden's 35 million comes off of the books. So in theory, this should make sense for the Orlando Magic. In theory, this should make sense for the Philadelphia 76ers, given the fact that you're not going to get a much better package than this, simply because James Harden is disruptive at this point, his reputation's south, nobody wants to pay him the money, etc. This is the best play for, place for him. Unless you want to trade him for Chris Paul's contract, as to which I think that's a decent idea too. Send him to Golden State. But other than that, I can't think of nowhere else you want to send him. The Clippers should not be giving up no two first-round picks to bring in James Harden. Absolutely not. Not in your situation, L.A. No way. So that's the place that comes to mind, man. Every other team that I could think of, maybe Toronto, that's not – the fit ain't as good as it is in Orlando. You know, maybe you want to send him to, what, Indy? I'd rather keep what Indy has, man. Uh, so that's what it really comes down to. The Houston Rockets aren't on the table from what I understand, and it shouldn't be. Honestly, it shouldn't be because they got – a bunch of young players and he doesn't fit in as well as he would in Orlando. Orlando has the shooting guard position open for him. Houston does not. They got to get rid of Green. They got to get, you know, they got to move around uh, uh, Thompson. Obviously with the situation with the kid Porter, that's a new situation. But even so, it doesn't quite, he doesn't quite fit in with Houston's current core as he would with the Orlando Magic current core. And um, that's, that's pretty much the thought, man. So, just wanted to follow up that video. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. My name is BDO44. I thank you all for watching.